Hey guys, Gabe Seymour here with Pest Patrol. Today I wanna to show you how to inspect your attic for rodent and wildlife activity. Let's do this. So I'm literally in an attic right now and I'm gonna explain this to you. The first things you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have is a good mask, an N95 or greater mask. If you want more protection, you can also go with a P100 respirator and then use a headlamp. Don't use a handheld flashlight. If you're go crawling around little attic spaces, you wanna have your hands free to be able to grab other stuff. Normally, while in an attic, I'd be wearing this mask, but for the sake of the video and audio, I'm not gonna. So the first things you're gonna wanna look for when you pop up in your attic are signs of rodent droppings, scratching, chewing, rub marks, grease marks, that type of thing. Also tunneling in the insulation, nesting in the insulation, all that. If you've located any activity, and even if you haven't, you're gonna wanna look for any entry points. The most common entry points you're gonna find in your attic are chewed out roof vents, like this. Uh, there's a vinyl mesh in there and it's really easy for squirrels and roof rats to chew through. So oftentimes you're gonna need to patch over this whole area with a quarter inch steel mesh to make sure that it's secure. Another very common area that you're gonna find entry points is where your gutter meets your roof. The back of that is called the fascia board. Sometimes there'll also be a decorative trim piece there. That piece will rot away and squirrels and roof rats will crawl right up and in there. And that's a very, very common entry point. Here, the fascia board behind the gutter rotted away and my flashlight is literally stuck pointing into the attic there. This one is an older style of gutter and that's decorative trim, but it rotted away. Squirrels were in there and they tried sealing it with quarter inch mesh, which didn't work. This was a straight up hole in the attic that a squirrel chewed, which is amazing. Here you had birds nesting where two different roof peaks met each other. So we ended up sealing it up, which you'll see right here with quarter inch mesh and spray foam and steel wool, which works great. Here, the gutter is literally pulling all the way away from the roof, ripping it out, and that is straight into the attic where squirrels were nesting. And then lastly, anytime two roof peaks meet each other, especially if they're coming from different angles or different steepness, we call it the armpit of the roof. It's important to check those. I'll put some pictures here. You saw this already. This is one of those places where two roof peaks meet where birds were nesting inside of it. If you do find activity, it means there's almost definitely some sort of entry points in the attic. There's a small chance that they may have come from like the crawl space or something and just crawled up. But generally, once they're in the attic, they can get in and out from the attic itself. And then the last thing you're going to need to think about in this situation is attic restoration. Depending on how bad the activity is, you may need to consider having your insulation removed and fresh insulation replaced in there with but here's the most important thing if you're going to do attic restoration you have to be 100 percent positive that you have sealed up all the entry points otherwise you're going to spend a lot of money for nothing so make sure whoever you choose to do that you absolutely 100 percent trust don't just go with the cheap restoration company i would recommend going with a pest control company that does restoration because Otherwise, they're not going to know what to look for. They're going to miss entry points, and you're going to end up having to pay five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars only to have rodents or squirrels get back in and ruin everything. So choose a good company always, but especially for something like this where you need a specialized touch to find all those entry points. Okay, that's it, guys. Hope that's helpful showing you how to inspect your attic space for rodents and wildlife activity. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a call or text at 503-985-6523. You can also visit our website at pestpatrolpdx.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel below. Thanks for watching. Go out and rock it.